But now Cynthia is going to show us the fall in the craft room part of my show here. Ooh. And I would love to, us to start with wreaths. You know, we put wreaths on our doors, we put wreaths on our houses, and we give wreaths as gifts. So making them is really quite simple. And I'm going to turn it over to you to show us how. So we what do we start with? The first thing we start with is base. Right. And there's several different kinds depending on whether you're going to use live greens, in mm -hmm. which case you'd use this one. Because it's a straw wreath wrapped in plastic. Because it's a straw wreath and you put evergreens on it and then use push pins to anchor them in place. So it gets a little complicated. Yes. A simpler way to do it, and the way I like to do it, is with a grapevine wreath. And this year, this oval shape is all the rage. Not okay. round, oval. Okay. Um, select a size based on your door or where you're going to put it. Mm -hmm. And then you need to think about, are you going to cover the entire surface, the bottom, or just the top, or maybe do a lunar shape around one side, right. which is what I like to do because I don't need as much material. Right. Exactly. And there's some what I call cheats for doing this quickly. Well, show us those cheats. Absolutely. Yes. So we're going to go with a little bit of a more of a winter theme on this one. These right? are these are more Christmas, January, winter. You could dress them up. Right. Um, so you've bought a spray, and I see that you're kind of fluffing it. You're just not taking it flat out of the from the store, but you're fluffing it so it doesn't look like it's directly out of a box. Yes. And Find the most interesting spray you can get. Mm -hmm. Buy a couple. And I'm going to do this one on the side of the wreath, just because that's my bias. And normally we would you know, wire this all in and it, you know, attach it firmly. I would attach these with wires. I'm not going to do that now because I could cause trouble. But um, you position them. And then I like to think about a bow. Right. Because that sets the personality of the wreath also. Absolutely. I think this little one looks very early American. It's demure. Mm -hmm. So you could stick that on there like that. Or you could get brave and use one with lots of glitter on it. Which is getting everywhere in the studio. <laughs> yes, and be forever picking it up in your house. But it adds more highlights to the wreath, so it shows more. Well, let's pick it up a little bit and show people. Just you know, if I put it on this way, it yes. looks right on there. So, we so that adds pop for street right. appeal. It certainly does. Or you can go even further. Right. And if you really don't want to do more with the sprays, make yourself an over-the-top wreath. This is for um, four bows put together. Major bling. Major bling. And I notice that you're always placing the bow to hide the wire of the sprays that you put down. Yes. It's and called hiding the mechanics. It absolutely is. Yes. So you might not need more than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if you're still not satisfied, you could add something. You could add red berries. I brought cotton balls because they're trendy this year. Yeah. It's, it's showing up everywhere. Can you hold it up just a little bit more so sure. our viewers can see this beautiful green wreath with the cotton balls in it? So, And being able to put some throughout at the top and the bottom. Yeah. So you want to keep it sort of balanced. You need to keep it balanced, good design principles. Mm -hmm. But that's all you need to do. Very simple. And Very just simple. Lovely, nice and easy. But you've got an even easier way, huh? Well, I've got want some sprays that are easier. And they are a little showier all at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. This is a major spray. It's a double spray that comes already wired together. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. So that's nice and easy and you just kind of bent it a little bit to the shape of the oval wreath. You bend and it, you pull the leaves out any which way. Kind of give it some life. You give it some life. And yes. this has got nice red berries for pop. Mm -hmm. And um, again, you could use any of these bows. Right. But I would probably go with this one. Super bling. Super bling bow. Because it's a good, wouldn't... strong wreath. That's a very beautiful wreath, and it makes a statement. It does, and it would be equally pretty in a dining room hung over a big mirror mm -hmm. so that you get a reflection to go with it. Yes. Or you can put it outside, and you will see this from the street with no problem. Absolutely. But now we need to move to fall, ma'am. Okay. Fall. Okay, coming up. Because we have beautiful holiday wreaths, but we also have wreaths on our door in the fall. 
So let's go from December to November. So I see here you've grabbed another oval grapevine wreath. Gotta stay on trend. Yep. And that you've actually pre-added some, I'll say, silk stems that you've picked up at the store. Silk and plastic. Silk and plastic. People <laughs> yeah. aren't going to know from a distance. They won't know from no. a distance. Um, this one is more complicated to make and requires far more material. But the basic design principles are the same. Um, this one's going to be filled halfway around from top to either side. Right. So you've got to think about accent, accent points in here general coverage, and maybe a triangular arrangement of some central elements. Um, I like to start, again, thinking about what I want to do. So I want to do this one from the top. I need to think next about where I'm going to put a bow, and it's going to be up here, right. just slightly off center. Right. Not right where the hook is, but over here. And then I'm going to fill in the edges with greenery, odds and ends of things. And then I'll come back and add accent pieces. And in this case, I'm going to put the bow on first. Oh, so you'll be able to work around the bow. Because I want to work around the bow. And this bow takes up a lot of space. Yes, it does. It's perfectly proportioned. And I think a, a common mistake is people go with too small of a bow. I'm not sure the bow can ever be too big. Mm -hmm. or, or too, too bright, in my Or bow. too bright. Yes. I don't think. An outdoor wreath is the time to go with something demure and modest. No, you need a 55 mile per hour wreath. Yes. Yes. And you need to fluff the bow. Yes. All right, so once that's on, then I would do, I have some sunflowers here. Oops. Mm -hmm. Here's and one. I'm, yeah, I'm going to put three sunflowers in. Odd number. Odd number, because I think odd numbers are more pleasing. And they Oops. are made of wire. I just broke that one. I saw that, but we're just going to pretend we're it's gonna okay. We're going to pretend I didn't break that. Right. And we're going to put one over here. Right. And then we're going to put a third one down over here somewhere. So that we can sort of spread them out and leave the eye. Spread them out. But I don't want an equilateral triangular arrangement. Mm -hmm. I want one kind of off. And. At home, I would glue these in so they don't fall out yes. the first time someone slams the door. Mm -hmm. Because they will. Yes, they will. And you don't want your wreath at your feet. The dog would eat it. Yes. Uh, this is a bigger accent, so there's only one of these. And I would put it somewhere along here and, again, fluff the pieces so that they sit at a proper angle. Right. We could put some cotton in just to be on trend. Mm-hmm. I mean, who, who would have thought there's a trend in wreath making? Yes. But there is, so my garden club friends say. Yeah. Well, Cynthia, you're almost there, but we do have the big reveal. So let's do it. got a great start here of what the bones of it, but this right here is there's what you would end up with. Exactly. And as you said, you've got the, you know, the accent here of the pumpkin. You've got the cotton in. It's a little asymmetrical in that it's not mm -hmm. perfectly triangular. But you've got your focal points, and there's that big bang of a bow. Exactly. Yes. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. So, so thank you. Thank you for sharing this with us. Appreciate it immensely. <laughs>